Come on, let's keep it real. I was not in, you know, in Soundview. Right, Yo, it was right. crazy over there um, with Sex Money Murder at that time, bro. Yo, me and Pistol Pete knew each other since we was like six. Yeah, shout out to Pistol like, Pete, too. I, yeah, he was outside for real. Was you going to skate key at this era? Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Be here, my brother was good. Likewise, man. Likewise, I appreciate you having me, man. Yo, listen, man. When me and my brother, when we started this platform, this was like for us, like, you know, later on when you come sit down and we do the sit down interview, you'll see we just we just wanted to do something for the culture, and we didn't know it was gonna get like this, my dude. We happy that that yeah that people even like seeing your face even pulling up here. Regardless if it's you or if it's fucking Little Dirk, it's an accomplishment for us because we know we're doing something good for the culture, and that's fucking music and sports. That's the fucking culture. That's right. That's right. Can't stop good energy. Can't stop, Can't good, stop energy. good energy. Listen, Can't. we re we refuse to. The only way we we'll get down like that, me and my brother, is if a nigga need to air something out off their chest. And they ask us, and we like them, and we say, you know what? Our platform is big enough for you to get something off your chest that you want to air to someone. We may do it, but we ain't about that drama shit. That shit is for the yeah. goofies. You know That's what I right. mean? That's right. All positive vibes, man. We trying to get niggas promo and get niggas buzzing. R.I.P. The Drama King. Facts. All right. Oh, we going to get drama. to that. We going to get to that, my dude. Because, you know, that's a big topic, man. Shout out to, uh, you know, all the K Slade, you know, family, friends. You know, that was a big loss for the culture, a big loss for hip-hop, period. You know that's what I'm saying? Fact, 100%. Fact, so, my dude, where are you from? We know, I mean, I know where. I just want to let the people know one more time so they know. I'm from Lafayette Gardens, bed stop, Brooklyn, man, born and raised, man. You know, I'm living in Crown Heights right now, but it's Brooklyn all day. You know what so I mean? New York City. from LG. Yeah, LG. Ethan, you from LG. New York it's City. It's crazy out that. there. Facts. 100%. You know I mean? But he said he's in Crown Heights with the Hasidics right now. <laughs> yes, sir. Sure. Them sure. boys got that bag, them boys. If he renting, it's at least 3500 If it's a mortgage, it's at least 4000 100%. Yeah, yeah, they doing it crazy out here. Yeah. Yeah, so my boy, um, how was it growing up out there? And, you know, as a kid in... Um, you know, growing up in LG, you know, it's seven buildings, so it's a pretty small project, and um, everybody know each other, so, um, you know, I ran with a lot of dudes that, you know, was running the streets, and at a at a young age, I was out there, but um, I had coaches that cared about me that said, listen, you're going to play ball, like, we're not, we not doing this, like, I had my little run in the streets, and then, you know, I saw that wasn't for me, and then I got on the track to go to school. And I'm um, playing ball, and the rest was history, man. You know what I mean? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You play basketball? I played professionally in Australia for eight years. Okay. Give him a bomb, Tone. He was... Well, you know what? I'm wrong. Akeem told me about that earlier today. He did yes, tell sir. me. I was going to... I was, You know, but I was getting my questions together. You know, I'm thinking more of, you know, trying to sell... You know, the project that you got going on when I'm putting my questions together. And you mm -hmm. know, I totally left the basketball and shit out in my mind because I'm thinking about focusing on the album. But that's a big topic to touch on because we are a sports platform. We just had Reggie Freeman on here last night. I saw High Five. That was dope, man. That's like, you know, that's dope. Like, he one of the ones that we recognize and we understand. Like, that's a legend right there. So, um, yeah, man, sports and ball in, you, in New York City, it's a court on every corner. And now with the internet age, everybody's an artist or, or some sort. So um, if, when you're talented, you're able to do both. Um, I played basketball all my life. I was in the streets. Um, my coaches turned me around. Um, and the rest was hif history. I went to Longburg Prep in North Carolina. Um, no, you didn't. Wait the hell out of here. Hold on. Hold on. You know I went there too, my boy. Yeah, me and Joe Buttons was in the same year. I went there with Coach Yo, Reynolds. Yo, my nigga, we was there. My nigga, we was there together. 
Yes, Joe Buttons was there with me. Which you was there 98, 99, right? With Coach um Coach uh, what's his name? From Brooklyn, Reynolds. from Queens was out there. Coach yes, Reynolds. Coach Reynolds. Yo, I Yo. was on the other team. I was with the Riverside team. I was there, North Carolina. Yo, bro, you don't North. remember me? I, I, you don't remember Shay, my nigga? I was Courtney Phil's roommate. Ooh. Of course, of course. Shay my Griffey. nigga, you was there with my nigga. You know who my nigga is? Who? You know who my main nigga is? Who? Yo, what's the, the point guard that was um T.O.? Yo, remember the remember the brolic nigga that y'all had from Brooklyn that came there. Okay, let me tell you. You know, okay, I can tell you who came up there with y'all. Kells, remember Kells? I remember Kells. I was there. I know me and Joe Kells, Buttons. Nigga? Yeah, That's me Joe and Buttons was, I know was up there. Okay, yeah. Okay, listen. There was I did two one teams year. that came up there. There was two teams that came up there. The team that came with the Reynolds, and then there was the team that came with Riverside. Yeah, yeah. Right or wrong? Coach Mike. I, Coach Mike, yep, yep. Remember Fat? Remember Fat? What's his name? The nigga that used to watch us? Hev. Cat Fat Hev, nigga. Yeah. How did yeah. I know this? Remember Yo, Mace nah. came to our school? Yo, remember Mace came to the school? Yep. <laughs> Mace, Yo, I was my body came to the school, my nigga. Remember? Yo. Yo, I was there. I was there for one year with Coach Joe Burns. Yes, and I remember. I remember uh, Coach Rich from Manhattan Center was with the girls. Yup. Nah, you Come was on, there, nigga. Nah, that's great. Yo, yo, Shay, that's Rich Pagan, yo, Yes. Yo, Shay, that's crazy, yo. You was there, my son. Nigga, I my nigga. Of course, I was there. Of course, I was there. I played ball. How you think I got all these niggas on this thing? I'm, I'm a baller. I was there with Riverside Church. That's crazy. And I'm gonna tell you, and I'm gonna tell you how it was. I'm gonna tell you how it was too. We we were like the prep school team, and y'all was playing like the high school league. Right? Yeah, we was. Yeah, yeah, we was playing. Definitely playing like the high school team. Yeah, you know we mean? had like, niggas that were post graduates and shit like that. They were a little older. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Yes. No, yeah, they I was wasn't a post grad. The they were considered a, 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 a regular. They was the Lornberg High School team. They played against the high school local teams. No, it wasn't no A or B team. We were just a prep. They were regular high school. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. PTs yeah, no. Yeah. And then high school. Facts. Yeah, That's yeah. Fact, now I, went, yeah, I was, I was supposed to Come on, the McDuffies. The McDuffies. The McDuffies. The McDuffies. Yo, the motherfuckers never gave me my diploma, my nigga. Yo, it got shaky after we left, though, bro. Yo, my nigga, you don't remember when the country niggas came up there with shotguns and shooting up the dorms? Yep. And and Bishop McDuffie, he he hit some. He, he was, was smoking crack. He was yeah, smoking he crack. Hit, he killed somebody and in his, the car. Actually. And he had the daughters, the little light skinned cuties. Oh, he didn't kill somebody. I know he killed the nigga in there, but right before we came. Yo, yo, Shay, I was there, Gil. Last year, I was there. Cause I went Division Two right after that. That's a fact. That's a fact. And the school down there was um, I forgot the name of that that little junior college they a D two school they had. It was like a college that was around the area. Um, I forgot the name of that shit too. I ever started. I ain't gonna lie, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Before I left, came down there. I was doing my thing, but I was really into ball. When I got down there, the girls was going crazy down there. Oh, was man. wild down there, boy. Right or wrong? Walk, man, the pig, no. walk the Piggly Wigglies? That's true talk. That's true talk. You got to walk through the train tracks. That's right. That's right. Come on, my nigga. That's yo, you was dead. That's my right. Nigga, I, yo, I, I, yo, listen, I'm going to tell you something. And this is what me and my brother was talking about. This is why this was perfect for us to do media. Because playing sports, everybody's not going to go pro. That's right. But I'm going to tell you. Sports will make people and friends you'll never forget. Like I be telling niggas all the time, like I need to get with Joe Buttons because I remember Joe Buttons. Yeah. Joe Buttons is nice and bull. Yep. Yo, you can reach him though, Shay. He gonna he'll he'll reach back. Yo, I'm telling you, you can reach him, man. Like, yeah, I never tried to hit him up, but you know, Lornberg is Lornberg, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yo, niggas yep. never believed me that story when I said Mace came up there. But let's get back to the interview, man. I'm sorry, man. I can't nah, believe so you said good. that. 
I couldn't believe you said that. Yes, yes. I was there. I went Division Two after that. I averaged 38 in Longburg. And I, I believe in, you, my nigga. I believe you. I was you. in the Slam magazine with Kobe and Shaq on the cover when they won their third ring. And um, it was a whole right up. The like reason I believe you is because everybody that coach that you was with, he had all killers too. That's a fact, yep. He had yep. all killers. So the, high school had two yep. teams. the high school had two teams. We was down there at Riverside Church, but Lawnberg Prep. The whole team was Riverside. Yep. Because nah, Mike right, McElwee right, was sure. our coach. Remember Coach Mike? Yep. We practiced together, separate courts? No, we, had, we practiced at separate times. We never yep. really seen them niggas like that because they was in separate dorms too. Yep. That's a fact. Damn, that's crazy. The good old days. Yeah, the good old days. And yo, yo when I was... And Elton was on your team, right? And Molly. El Elton Molly. Nah, I don't think so. Didn't Molly... Did it... Okay, he was so, there, though. He was there. You, he was you there. You remember Elton Molly? I remember Elton Molly. He okay, so there. they probably... Can you know what? There was three teams. There was three teams. It had to be. Because you know... Remember Kingsley, Tone? Kingsley was on the other team. Kingsley wasn't on our team. Our team was flooded with rice niggas and and like old big men that was like twenty years old. <laughs> yeah. Big Don and all that. Yo, okay, when coach, let's get, let's get back what? to business, man. Are we, we and you gonna talk off the air about that? Yeah, I'm gonna send right. you my number. We gotta talk. But yeah, right, right. but listen. Okay, so you said growing up at LG, was it safe? Was it? Did it teach you a lot? Did it teach you how to do music? Did you learn a lot from growing up in LG? Um, when I was in LG, I was I was young. I was just getting money. Um, and just being out there with World and all of them, and just you know, I was just focused on getting money. It was a lot of things I ain't have. The typical story of a lot of kids growing up, like you, you end up being a man early on. So um, it, it was it was it was different than it is now. Like you couldn't just walk through. Where everybody had beef. The same as every project. Like, if you're a new face, you got to know somebody in there. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, growing up, like, I, I was getting a little bit of money, and then my coaches just was like, nah, this ain't, you know, this ain't you. You know what I mean? So um, I was able to get my foot out the streets and just, you know, I saw a lot of niggas go. Um, a lot of niggas ain't here no more, but, you know what I mean? I was one of the lucky ones. You know, I got back in it a little bit later. You know what I mean? So... That's, that's why I always fact. that's why I always appreciated and thank Coach Reynolds for giving me a shot because um you know it I went to the the um Spike Lee tournament um camp that he used to have in Pratt Institute right now. I remember that. That's, that's a, that yeah. was a big camp. Yes, yes. So my coach Mike Senior and my brother Kiddo, they was like, you know, come over here, we want you to meet this coach. And um when I went over there, um Coach Reynolds took me to the side, he told me to do a few things and then he just was like, yo, I need this player. You know what I mean? So um, the rest was so history. So Coach Reynolds definitely to... changed your life. When he passed away, I flew back from overseas. To, he to passed away? Yeah, Coach been gone for a minute. Coach been gone. Oh. Coach been... Yeah, Coach oh, that been That was my gone. next question, man. Damn, yeah. son. Yeah, Coach Reynolds passed away. Um, Yeah, but when I, I didn't write a rap until I got to Australia. Like, I, my second to last season, I just was like, you know, I like the game, but I don't really love it no more. So what's next? You know what I mean? So I saw a friend of mine from Harlem. His name is Kid Mac. He was uh like my bro. He's my brother. And Thanks. Kid Mac did a show in Melbourne. I had a double header. He did a show in Melbourne. And then after my game, I went to see him perform. I was immediately inspired to write a rap when I saw my man do it. I saw mad concerts. I saw Jay-Z, all of that before. But I wasn't inspired to be an artist till I saw my man Kid Mac do it. Is that him right here? Is Mac? It's Mac. That's him. That's Shout my inspiration. It's Mac. It's Mac gave you the inspiration. And he yeah. popped up and put it in there. As soon as he popped up, he said, yo. Shout out yeah. to Kid Mac. It's okay. That's so you said you was in Australia where you saw him perform? I saw him perform. I was playing. What the hell was he doing in Australia? This had to be like two. Because I know the years I went to Longburg, you talk about playing yeah. in Australia. Yeah. It had to be 2003 or four at this time. It, it definitely was. And Mac, Mac was living out there because his father, Big D Mac, is a street ball legend in New York City from Harlem. He was naturalized out there. And Wait, Mac who's was his father? Daryl McDonald. Heard of that name. He's from Harlem, and he's a legend. And Rucker, 
Like he's a legend in Australia. Like he's been killing for oh, years. So he's, he was in the era like Pee Wee Kirkland. Yes. Yes. Like the the goat and all them type of dudes. Yes. Yes. That's so, crazy. So so Daryl McDonald and my man Mac is his son. He's a junior. So um when I when you go there when you from when you from New York or you from America we automatically click when you in the country. That's a we fact. We automatically click. So it's like I I clicked right away with my guy Mac. I went to see him perform and I was inspired and he killed it. It was like a pack um a pack low bar thing that he killed. And um, I just was like, you know what? I want to do that. And then I started writing and then I got better really fast. You know what I mean? When I came home, when I came home in 20, the end of 2011, I was in an open mic or showcase every day of the week for a year. Then I just started, I won a lot. I lost a lot. And I started just saying, you know, I'm going to apply the same work ethic that I had with basketball to the music, to the music. Like, so. And the rest was history, man. I just ran into a lot of dope people. Shout out to my manager. Shout out to my role manager. Game over. Um, a lot of people that's been in my corner since since I came home. So, uh, and now I'm now I'm a name that's climbing. You know what I mean? I've been out there. So, that's a fact. That's a fact. Because, um, so what college? Okay, so after Longburg, we know you started writing actual rhymes in Australia. Yes. So after Longburg, you which like where did you go from there? After Longburg, I went to a Division two school in Long Island called Southampton because Coach Reynolds, Gil Reynolds, got the he got the coaching job there with Sidney Green. Got you. So he was Sydney like, Green I had, that played. You talking about Sidney Green that played on the Celtics? Yeah, he played in the NBA for like maybe two, yes. five, seven years. Yeah. Yes. So yes, Sid, yes. Sid was coaching there, and then I got the he got the coaching job with Sid. So I was gonna either go to Marquette. Or Tennessee, but I wasn't gonna play right away. They had sophomore guards. They was like, "Yo, you got." So he was like, "Come to Division Two, come to Division Two with me, and then when you leave here, you're gonna be a pro. I promise you, you're gonna be a pro." And I trusted him because he was like a father figure. Now to he me. got you there, of course. Good move. He never, he never Good scared move. me wrong. So I went there. I lit it up. Did my thing. We won the ECACs, the only championship in school history. And then when I went to the Utah Jazz Camp as a senior, I had mad countries I could have went to, but I chose Australia because I visited there when I was a sophomore. Shout gotcha. out to Bobby Cunningham. Shout out to my big brother Bobby Cunningham and my brother Jai Watson. Like they flew me out there. I, I stayed with them for two months in the off season. And um they wanted me to stay then. They was like, yo, if you want to stay, this guy going home. So and you I know was, what's crazy? The year that you went there, to, you said it was in Long Island, right? Yeah. You ever been to Hofstra University parties? One time. Some shit wasn't ugly in them, in them errors? I've been there one time when Speedy was going there. Yes, my oh, brother was yeah. there. Yeah, I, I definitely was there. How you been around me and my brother? We're not even knowing. We probably was walking by each we other. We probably was walking. My mother, my brother <laughs> with the Hofstra. So when well, Speedy, that's why I asked you that. I, I right. know. When I came from Longburg, the first thing I did, he played football there. So that summer, because I had went to Sullivan um after that. And oh, okay, um, Sullivan, yeah. Yeah. So that summer I went with my brother, like like I, like like August, September ish. And yo, they parties with DJ Clue. Clue yo, that was I think Clue had a cousin that went there or something, right, Tom? Yeah, my man Anthony was on the basketball team. That's a fact. Yo, they yo, they was they party was crazy. a fish. It was a fish, like it was a <laughs> real yo, you went you did you go to one of the parties in, in like the lounge by the dorms? I can't even remember, but I know I went one time and like mad, mad people from my team went. Somebody knew somebody from there. And I know like it was like we just was like, our shit is a joke. <laughs> our shit is a joke. <laughs> no, nah, shout out to, to Hofstra, right, Tom? Yeah, I can't find I turn Hofstra into a club. <laughs> Facts, because he was DJing a lot of parties. Because Clue would DJ if the school paid him big monies. At that time, the yeah. man was making mixtapes and you couldn't even look at Clue. You know what I'm saying? Yo, that was the good old days, man. It ain't, yeah, it ain't like that. It ain't, it ain't like, like that, that no more. But see, that's why I had to have you on the platform because, like, <coughs> where we at that time, that's when uh, what's the coach from 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 Villanova, Jay Jay Wright, Jay Wright, Jay Wright, Jay Wright was the coach. At that facts, time. Yep. facts. So the reason um we thought you would be perfect for the platform was because me and my brother we talk about what we are gonna bring on all the time. Plus, Akeem is my man. Akeem, first of all, Akeem, shout out to Akeem. His ass to the streets. He used to work with the biggest digital. You know about him. Did you? Yeah, yeah. 
Come on, them guys, it's like, them guys are geniuses. You know what I'm saying? Now they, I think they're doing metaverse shit and all that bullshit like that. But, you know, <laughs> but, but why we thought you would be perfect is what we like on our platform, if you notice, if you look through the page and you really scheme of what we're doing, we're trying to create that vibe for people like yourself that's respecting real hip hop. My nigga, why do you think I'm on this page interviewing you? We're used to having at least 500 to 750 to 1,000 people in our lives. Am I lying, Tone? They shut me down because I put a drill. I put the drill artist on on. He uh, me and him did some business, and I put the, his song on my page, and he's throwing up gang signs, and they flag my page for him throwing up gang signs. I I be tuned into y'all live, and I know how lit it is. That's crazy. They they getting out of hand with it, man. Like, but you could but you could scroll down Instagram and see murder. You can see all kinds of fights, all types of shit. But then, like, why would they pick it me? Ain't part of the agenda. Shout out to High right. Five in the building. Give him give him a bomb, Tone. Yeah, he said he said us off. He said us off. High Five. Shout out to High Five. High five. World now. I gotta get your size. We are sending you a shirt and a hat for sure. High five is that dude. We love high five up here, right, Tom? Or he set it off. He set it off. Shout out to high five. Hundred percent. We're from uh B T the the uh the ticket in the basement to 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 ESPN. Yeah, did it for the money now. Can you get with me? Shout out to high five. Right. Yeah, but that's, right. that's what that's what we want on the platform. We looking for like didn't it, like that real feeling, son. Yes. How far yes. is that real feeling? I see yeah. how far I play in the parks. No camera phones out. Nothing but rappers it's and superstars right. it's, it's, watching him play. It's only right. At that time, Shay, that hip hop and basketball went hand in hand. Yes. It so de we definitely just, did. Yeah, so we yeah. trying to create that platform that, you know, like, you know, niggas is still here. That's niggas what we still we, niggas thought niggas. You know what I mean? Shout out to the young boys because they doing their thing. Shout out to drill music too. I like the yeah. music. It just gets niggas in trouble. Look at us. I can't even go on my page because of that. Yeah. And that's why that's the it's strategically, that's why I wrote the record ready the way I did. Because I said, I you know what? Shit, I, it, if you look, that, that's the that's the first that's the first song you coming with? I'm, I'm I'm ready with ready. Give yourself a bomb, Tom. Yeah. I'm ready with ready. He likes to pick his orders on what he how he wanna rock out with. That's the first song you pick. You know what I said? You know what I said, Shay? I was like, yo, my city is really um influenced by drill music. So I said, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it my way. I said, yes. I'm gonna oh, I'm an OG in the game. I'm going to tell y'all everything that's going to happen to you if you stay in the streets. No, no, listen, this is what I was saying. And me and my brother, we already went over this. If the, the sound is something unbelievable. The sound sort of reminds me of the transition when Boom Bap went to Swiss Beats. Mm -hmm. That's what Drew did. Yeah. It, it turned into the boom, you know, it went from boom bap, havoc beats, you know, premiere. Then when Swiss came in, it was a whole different sound. That's what drill is like. It was still boom That's bap right. though, but it wasn't it wasn't premiere boom bap, it was Swiss boom bap. Yes. But you know what I'm saying though, right? Yeah. Yeah, like the Timberland sounds and you know, all of that, like that sound like that change. Anyway, where I'm going with it is is that we like drill. I just don't like like the message of the, the, the what's going on. So, like you said, if you could fuck a drill beat up and talk about shit that you're doing besides smoking a nigga, putting them in the blunt and all of this stuff, you know what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. Yeah, and I, I, said to, I just miss so the I, days, you know, like like hip hop, you know, like Styles P. Like yeah, yeah he was he was he said it's called Swiss Bap. <laughs> say like Styles, Styles P, what up, baby? As crazy as as a gangster and a gentleman style as gangster Styles was, he still was a gentleman. Like he said, you know, uh, wipe the sweat off, then grab the cannon. Like you know what I'm saying? If you gonna be a nigga with the cannon, think about what you gonna do, then do it. Don't just do it. This drill shit is just setting stunt doubles right into the into jail. Like just yo, and go it's put a mask on, go do some stupid shit. Yo, and it's bad because you know why? I, I get at least 10 of them DM the page <coughs> a week. <coughs> Come on, man. These, you know, I'm a grown man. You know what I'm saying? These are little kids. I want to help them. I want to extend my hand to them. I want to help a black kid get to where they got to go. 
Yeah. But I can't. They got me flagged. <laughs> I understand, I man. Do the right thing, you feel me? I understand. <laughs> I understand. Yo, you, say, you, know, you know what I said? You know what I said? I was like, yo, I got a company that I'm running called Your Problem is Our Problem, right? And I go into the schools and I chop it with the kids and I got a music curriculum, right? So I said, if y'all going to be influenced by drill, I'm going to use the sound that y'all love to tell y'all what I need y'all to know. Give you me know my mom, Tom. So, hey, you know what? I feel like... All of the vets should be doing that. Like a drill at sergeant. least one. Get me wrong. There's a lot of these old vets that is talking with these young boys is talking. Yeah. Am I am, yeah. I, am I lying wrong? You're right. You're right. But you got to have at least one joint where you could give them some kind of jewelry on what's like. We're not having those talks with our younger younger dudes out there, and it's 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 happening in our face. All the Rico cases, and that somebody's gonna tell on you. Somebody's gonna get murdered. Or you're going to do a bunch of time and you're not going to be ready for somebody else, your, your kid calling somebody else dad, and you missing exactly. games and graduations. Like, tell these little, tell the little guys what it is. Like, you're not going to win. It's not set up for you to win. I've never Shout seen out. somebody stay in it and then take some kind of loss. That's a big fact. Shout out to Game Over. He said, sign yourself up to 25 to life with drill rap. Let's get back to real bars and real rap. Give him a ball, Tom. My God, game over. That's my brother, game over. I'm I'm in Atlanta for his um podcast launch. I leave Sunday performing out there. He got a podcast launch that he's doing in Atlanta. Shout out to him. To Shout out to my brother, game over. I'm gonna be out 100%. there. Hundred percent. Yeah. He's that Rico. He said Rico and repo they cars. He said it's a Rico and repo the vehicles. <laughs> They don't get it. They indicting themselves. They indicting themselves and they telling on themselves and somebody is 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 gonna end bad for you. So like bad. you might think Yo, that's crazy though. I heard you don't smoke or drink. Never did. Give him a bomb, Tom. If you made it out of Lombard without smoking or drinking. Yo, son, that's all we don't lie. Yo, you know what's crazy? My brother went to prep school. Yo, I'ma tell you smoking. I'ma tell you. <laughs> no, for let me tell you something, my nigga. This is a fact. Now that that school shut down, I, you know, it's, this, is what, this is what these podcast shit was for. My nigga, in our dorms, every room was smoking weed. It was Ooh. like out in the open. I don't know if Reynolds would lie with y'all, but with the river, with our team, yeah. it was in the air heavy, my nigga. Coaches coming in the room like, yo, what y'all doing? He's like, just go outside with this shit. Don't be gonna disrespect us like this. That's right. It was light on our side. They didn't care about it, it y'all building. That's why nobody got the diplomas. Yeah, but it, it was showing, though. We was going to Oak Hill. Y'all didn't know this because y'all didn't see us like that. My nigga, we yeah. was getting blown out, my nigga. We was going to Oak Hill losing. My nigga, we played Zach Randolph. We played, um, we played Zach Randolph. Um, what's the nigga name? Um, Blake, the white boy that went to, um, school with Steve Francis. Oh, Steve Blake? Steve Blake. Brad's yo, they blew, the, yo, we played Oak Kill too. They blew us. I had fit, Joe Buttons just had an interview in the magazine. He mentioned, yeah. like, I had fifty. That was his only triple double. But they blew us out by like sixty. No, <laughs> <laughs> I told, told you all these teams were sick. We were all. It was like we never saw each other, right, my nigga? Like that? We never. Yeah, but yeah, I know what you're talking different, about. Playing different places, Not even graduation. Not even like that, Tom. They was in a whole different school. They was in. Remember, y'all was in like that building, the charter school side. Yep, yep. Cause y'all <laughs> niggas was fighting them niggas like every day. Cause they mixed y'all with the regular niggas. Yep. We was nah, only going to school right. with each other. You know That's what I'm saying? That's exactly right. That's exactly right, bro. Like, cause I remember there was a time period when all of us. You don't remember that day when all of us was like, um, fuck it. We going just New York. Them niggas shot the front like heavy, and niggas is like we like, like all of the teams came together. You don't remember that? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I yeah, remember niggas that. Niggas like niggas was just like yo, fuck it. If it's gonna go down, let's get it. Tony used to have us laying on the ground, coming in with shotguns, boom, light up the dorms. Cause yo, was New real. Tony, imagine yo. thirty, imagine thirty Welcome New York niggas with Averexes and North Faces coming to your town, fucking all the bitches. I did it when I moved to Texas. Am I, I know you wrong, my nigga. Yeah, they ain't like that. They ain't like that. They hated that, son. They hated huh. that. Big facts. Yo, yo, King, what's up, King? Shout my out to King, King in the building. All right, so my boy, so how coming from LG, coming from Brooklyn, period, how were you able to escape not 
smoking, drinking, and staying away from all of the negative vibes. That nigga's in love with the word no. Facts. <laughs> That's facts. Yo, so what basically a lot of legends and a lot of people, even in my family, I've seen how those things took them down and I seen how it was negatively affecting them. And I just said to myself, I was terrified. I just never wanted to do it. Um, there was so many times, even, even in Australia, my friends used to try to get me to drink and all that. I just always said, no, if I, if I ain't do it to this point, I was like, I don't need to. I used to give myself excuses. I used to be like, all right, when I graduate college, I'm going to take a sip of something. I never did it. Then I was like, if I sign a pro contract, I'm going to do that. Then I said, if God I do I have a door. So I had excuses, but I never, I never did it, and it, I never really wanted to. You know what I mean? Give him a bomb, Tone. Smart decision. So I get a lot of them Apple uh, head, headphones that you got over there. Look, look sexy. 600, they better. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Facts. No, all I'm saying is everyone has a vice. Yeah. What you mean? Everyone has a vice. This is just not drinking or smoking. 100%. Did you say he got something? Something. Some, some, something. There's some type of weakness in, the, in that soul? He might collect w women's toenails at the nail salon. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> so if, I, it is, if I do got a vice, it'll probably be Red Bulls. I drink too yeah. many Red Bulls. My nigga, look. I was, I'm fucking with a monster right now. That's why I'm going right. right now. I'm turned right. up. Okay, let's get right to this. How the hell you meet K-Slay? Well... I won his thousand dollars. The last thousand dollar showcase he had, I won it. And um, a bomb, Joe. That's why I respect K Slay. He having venues, giving niggas a few dollars. You know, it, it's worth it. Fucking with him. Every time someone fuck with K Slay, they have a good time. Yo, K Slay, he he's an amazing Slay, energy. He's an amazing he, energy. He, he probably was just looking for an artist. He was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a showcase. I'm gonna sign whoever wins. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Every month, every month he was doing it inside the pyramid and um. Oh, Mac those, those shits back in the days. Oh, with Mental Supreme. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, you. I was like, like nine, ten, eleven, like ten, eleven years ago, right? Yo, yeah, I was there. I was outside there. I was there, baby. Um, yeah. So yeah. K Slate, amazing energy, man, and um, he's nothing but positive, uplifting. Like even on his talks outside of the um the uh, interviews and stuff like that. He was always motivating, you know what I mean? And yeah. and I feel like I feel like while his voice was big, like we really lost somebody that was like it's not too many platforms like his to where he really rock with. It's not all the politics with mainstream and all that. Slate really rock with the real authentic. You know what I mean? So my song was there. Um what's my man and DJ Spazzo, all of them picked me. So I won the last showcase um, I went up there. I was in Straight Stunting Magazine behind that. And um, the rest was history. He gave me shots, man. Like, he he really, like, called for me and looked for me. You That's a I mean? fact. Oh, shout out to my, shout out to my homegirl, Shanti, in the building. She, she, I've been seeing her pop up. I just, you know, we just having our combo. Shout out to Shanti. Shout so, how was it going up to the Shade 4 or 5? I saw you on YouTube doing interviews with Kate yeah. today. Like, yeah. um, how was those moments? Um, you know, everybody was, don't get those moments. Yeah, that's why that's why I'm grateful for it. And um, sometimes you you know you get a little nervous because that's like the biggest platform that I've been on. Um, of course I had you have music on Hot 97 and 105, but I'm talking about face to face with a legend like that. You know what I mean? Hundred percent. Definitely, it's no, definitely it, a, an amazing. Um, yeah, it's definitely amazing. Um. Um, one of my highlights of music so far, if I walked away from it right now, that'd be right at the top of the list, chopping it with K, going up there a few times and um, just getting the insight. So, like, that's the priceless part, too. Like, you know, a lot of people, like, you can't really, you can't pay to get on Slay. Like, you can't pay nothing. Like, he he bringing you up there if he rock with you, you know what I mean? So, he, Slay, he, had you on, he had you on Hot 90, he, he had you on Hot, and he had you on Serious. That's, that's love, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, so I, no, listen, I never heard no bad combo about. Yo, listen, he was able to get fucking Alpo and and A Z on phone calls when <sighs> Poe was in the middle of his bids. Yo, you you know what? Right or wrong? I want to say the reason why I know about Alpo's from the from the the Don Diva magazines and K Slay. Yeah, but no, but I'm just saying the the way he was able to pull that off. You know, you got to be outside for that. Yo, that's you know big shoes. 
That's big <laughs> shoes to fill. We took a come run, on, like you son. Said. We talking about the we talking case about the goats, like from case like, like 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 a lot of people talk negativity about <laughs> Alpo. Alpo did a lot of fuck shit, but at the end of the day, a lot of niggas imitate Alpo, bro. They do. He he has an influence, like he could tell. He has an influence, son. That's why it's kind of hard to hear a lot of niggas shit on him because a lot of niggas talk about him, but they act the same way with the, you know. He, you know, he started the sitting on couches, popping champagne, the jewelry, the motorcycles, yeah. the, motorcycles the coats, the That's co right. having all the cars with the rims. Transetting, yeah. He transetting, so you know. Speakers in the car. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, you know, I, I, I don't agree on a lot of shit that he's did, but you know, I, I gotta say, he, he is a goat. He put a stamp down. Yeah, he definitely. put a stamp down. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely. But, but, but yeah, man. I mean, uh. Yo, when I did some research on you and seen the, you know, the the Shade Four or Five movements, when I seen um, you know, even being in Hot ninety seven with K Slade, and you was on K Slade's album, right? No, 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 I didn't make the album. I didn't no, because I saw you on a song he had. It was a song presented by K Slade. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yo, was you on that the hundred and one? Nah, I didn't get on that. I didn't get on that. Why wasn't you on that? I don't know, man. I mean, can you case know a lot of rappers, man. Maybe if he would have did more, like like maybe a couple more down the line, I would have, you know, made the cut. He, you know, case very connected. You know, a lot of artists. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get everybody on there. He knows. Yeah, that's right. Cause he has a I'm good heart so much that he's, you know, it's a lot. Nah, cause I can't lie. When when niggas was when niggas was doing music, K Slay, you know. Only thing K Slade would like, and I keep it real, just bring him a nice bottle of Henny. He was happy. Yeah, man, it ain't take much. Like he's a real it ain't take genuine, much. genuine These energy other DJs, man. They like, want you to pay their uh, you know, they they kids tuition. They want you to fucking pay the Bentley car note. Thousand dollar pair of sneakers. Thousand dollar pair of sneakers. You know, it's like it's like come on. You know what I'm about Slay? Every time I met him with Sus, the nigga's radio voice. Was his everyday voice? Facts. <laughs> that's that's what I love about that. Facts. Yeah, yeah but yeah. you know what, man? We're gonna save a lot of this for the sit down. Tone. I'm ready. Let's get fucking to it, man. Shade Baby TV Wednesdays. This is what we do up here. We break records. We break artists, and we also play artists like my man BMG that's already lit. Just to get some more energy. Get some more interviews. Get YouTube a little bit more buzzing. That's Let's right. Let's get to it, Tone. BMG's already lit. Already lit. So we ready, we ready you know, to keep, this, keep the page flowing, Tone. Shea Baby Ooh. says, Lunch, what up? you need to hear. Let's go. Let's get to it. It's Dan LeBron in the paint. And he demands for the ball because... <laughs> He's too little. <laughs> set the tone. He's too little. He's too little. He's too little. He's too These records. These records right here. They're on, they're on streaming platforms? Yes. Oh, yeah. Good. I'll be listening to that in the morning for sure. Set the little. tone. My God. Set the tone. Yo, this is what people don't understand, too. Now, good look at my brother. Good look at that. That. You could tell who got talent and who don't, but you could also, even when people think, also when the artists come up here, I become more of a fan of them, Tone. Honestly. I heard these songs before, and I, and, and I was feeling it just because they were good songs, but then I found out you played basketball. I don't even, what position you played? Because it sounds like you, you could score in the paint. Combo guard. Combo guard on some obvious and shit. Okay, okay. You heard what he said, getting 50. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but yeah, my dude, Um, yeah, thank you, man, for pulling up. Um, Yeah, we got to, you know, when you drop that new single, you know, by then we, we should be unblocked. You know, we get you on the main page. But this is going up on YouTube. It's going to go up on the page, you know, on the main. This is going, I'm, we editing this down tonight. This is going up tonight, son. Ah, yeah, this thank you. Wow, man. 100%. Facts. Shout out, to, shout out to Akeem. Shout out to BMG. Shout out to mainly Brooklyn for pulling up. Um, Tone, you got anything? You know, you, you, 
You want to say besides niggas is too little and, and, and Kobe? Nah, BMG, nah. Yo, three for three tonight. Yo, you got some fire music. Uh, now, mind you, BMG, when we know who's coming up here to, as far as tone, but tone really gets tuned in to who's really coming up here like 30 minutes before the show starts. <laughs> So, like he said, he picked that song, the first one. But so, why wasn't this last one the first one? I need to know those. Why wasn't this first? Because I, I, I know the drill is is was moving. But when I heard that song, I I I, I know the other two was. I didn't want to play the other two and then come to the drill, because the drill was like I'm letting you like. It's basically, yo, this is what he could, he's doing. Oh, you were setting the tone tone. Yeah, he's like, he's doing the now shit. Oh, we got that tone do his thing, right? He could do the uh, now I'm shit. Cool. I'm cool. But, that but, tone do his thing. He was doing the now <laughs> shit, and you could understand every word he was saying. You know what that tone do his thing. Yeah. Nah, for real, I'm sorry. It's all my fault, man. Let you do your thing. Nah, you know, some of these drill songs, only words you really know is the click, blah. Like, that's a, that, yo. And that's yeah. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? When I heard that song, I was like, wow, this is, this is it's like if Hover did the drill, like you heard there every word, you know what I'm saying? John Fenny said shout out to Tone, fire. Nah, I appreciate you, Tone. Yo, word up. Nah, yo, shout out, to, shout out to everybody checked in. Yo, my man Mac that was on, he is actually in Australia right now. So you got people tuning in from Australia right now. Oh, man. That, yo, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what yo, I say. Every interview is important. Yeah. To shout out to my man Stan, you know the man that's the producer. Uh, with too little, Stan Heats by Stan the man. He made that beat like he Stan is lit. Like he oh he in there. Yeah, Heats by Stan the man. That's who made too little. Oh, shout out to Stan the man. So he's in there. We might have to bring back battle of the producers. I, you know, I yo, we did a producers battle when we first started the platform. Maybe the second show we did. Yo, bro, bro. it had like two hundred people in there. Artists, it was big. I and I didn't do another one since. That this was, was that was before verses too. This was like ten months ago, right? It wasn't before versus, but it was like 10 months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tone, can you come, nah. can we keep on going? Yeah, you got to bring that back. We got to bring that back, right? You got to bring that back. I do it. Yeah. Yes, tell Stan the man we're going to thaw at him because he, he looking like he, I, 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 he got to be Yo. good. Yeah. Yeah. Stan, Stan the man. man Stan the man is a problem in that ring, man. I'm saying. Who, who did, who ate? Heats by Stan the man. He got, Papoose got a banger right now with him. Like, Crazy. Stan. Stan did the other beat too. Wait, Stan did the, 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 the song 8? No, 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 no. Stan didn't do 24-8. Um, Stan did too little. Um, 24-8 is done by um, uh, my man Nick Price. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. yeah that too little, that too little is hard though. Definitely. Stan stand the man. Definitely. You know what's crazy? I'm happy that he's working with me. Tone, tone sets the tone, but tone beats fire. Tone, I need tone. Yo, let me tone, paint. No, you know it's crazy. Tone was signed to Swiss Beats for five years. Hakeem and my captain. Hakeem will tell you the motherfucker oh. got crazy. He got he make beats. He make at least twenty beats a week. I need a tone beat, man. See, that's what I'm saying. Beat. Tone, we make. I, they in the email. They I'll send them right away. You feel me? Word. That's a fact. I need a tone beat. Nah, tone. 100%. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate your energy, Tone, and, and Shea, baby. I appreciate you for yeah, having but you me. Make man. sure you stay in touch with us because yes. it, not only do we do the, the, the interviews, we also do behind the scenes shit, too. So if you got like a video or party or something like that you want us to come out to, we got official cameraman. You know, yo, yo, you watch Sub Zero? Because Sub Zero fuck with K Slay Heavy. Yeah, yeah, I know Freeze. Yeah. Yo, but do you watch his podcast? Um, I haven't in a in a minute, but yeah, I'm familiar with it. Nah, nah, Sub Zero shit. Y'all fuck with his podcast. That nigga shit is hundred percent. Said I'm like the rock. Hey, you know what? Niggas thought Sub Zero was frightened about knowing Alpo. Alpo said in the interview, "Nah, that's my son. I, I, I he, he's from the hood. He, I, I fuck with him hundred <laughs> percent." Sub is a legend. Yeah, nah, he's yeah, a legend. Sub is outside. Yeah. Yep. Thanks. Shout out to Sub Zero, hundred percent. All right, my dude. So, uh, everybody, if you um you came late. This will be up on YouTube in about an hour. It'll be on the main page. Shout out to Reg Freeman for pulling up. Um, next week, I think Tone. Um, next Wednesday. Oh, next Wednesday we got a goodie, Tone. 
we got um my man um TJ Porter next Wednesday. Wow. Yeah. TJ Porter does drill, but he's my man. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. the lumber. Facts. All right, y'all. Good looking out. Shea Baby TV Wednesdays again. Tone, we did it again, Tone. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all, Shout out man. to BMG. Word. Another Wednesday, we up out of here.